Well, good day, everyone, and thanks for tuning in once again. Well, once again, back here in Canada, and well, just take a look at this view behind me, would you? Absolutely breathtakingly mag magnificent, absolutely stunning place. Found this place by accident, would you believe? Um, yesterday, I was randomly looking at uh, Google Earth and uh, just scanning this uh, this area and I seen this tiny little lake on the map so I zoomed in and I seen this big mountain behind it and I thought wow this place looks good how do I get there so uh, here we are um, a place that uh, and I'm not going to mention where it is but uh, obviously in the Rockies in the Jasper region um, a place that I've never even heard of you know often when you come to a new location you're looking up websites and um, social media and things like that looking for locations and you always find a lot of sort of well-known locations this place was not on any of those uh, websites or um, I've never seen it even on social media uh, but Google Earth thank you <laughs> uh, I've been around a fair bit around the world and I've seen some pretty majestic landscapes and I've got to say this is right up there this place is absolutely breathtakingly beautiful majestic um so yeah i thought i'd uh <laughs> pretty excited uh thought i'd make a video so just show you guys um it's sort of early in the well it's not early in the morning it's mid morning it's about 10 o'clock didn't get here until probably nine o'clock um but the light is still absolutely stunning and uh i'm sure we can still get some good images here so um without any further ado i'll Give you a bit of a pan around of the landscape and we'll take a few photos So I'm not going to do a lot of talking today, I'm just going to um, put the GoPro on, take a few images and um, just let you guys take in the view. I'll keep pretty silent and uh, just let you enjoy this absolutely magnificent sight. Okay, I'm just going to go and try another vantage point here. These rocks down here look pretty good. It's pretty swampy around the edges of this lake, so somehow I'll try and get over there without getting too wet. I've just got my tripod camera wide angle lens. Um, I've got a 10 stop. ND filter on, not that I probably really need it to be honest. Whoops, that's very muddy there. Um, don't want to go too far from my camera bag because that's where my bear spray is, <laughs> and this is uh, definitely bear country. Let's see if we can get through here. <coughs> Right in a hole. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Doesn't look like I'm going to get out there. 
without breaking my neck. So, plan B. That didn't work. Hey? I tried to get over those rocks and I fell in a hole. <laughs> when I. Yeah. Let's see what's through here. This looks better. Watch where I'm walking. It's getting a bit late in the day, we, we ultimately should have been here a bit earlier, but that's okay. We know it's here now, so we can come back. And there's just the slightest breath of wind on the lake, like it's minimal, but it's enough to kill that perfect mirror reflection that we had about 20 minutes ago, so anyway. I kind of like the look of those, um, those reedy grasses over there, so Let's see if I can get over that way. It's quite swampy here, so very swampy actually. Just got to watch where we go. Also taking uh, time to have a look around the bush, make sure I don't tread on a moose or a bear or something like that. So I'm always. Uh, Watching where I'm going. I'm trying to anyway. Here we go. This spot looks nice. Let's try a shot here. I actually think this might work as a vertical. Try that. Move forward a bit. Okay, F16, 25 seconds. Actually, I might go F11, there's no point for F16. I'm just exposing for the highlights. Single shot, focusing about a third to a half into the scene. F11, 13 seconds. It's quite a nice shot, actually. There's also this really big rock just here in front of me. I'm not sure if you can see it in the water here. Don't know if I can somehow incorporate that in a shot. So move over here and see what I can come up with. Possibly. Oh yeah, that's a very nice image. I'll shoot a vertical once again, just exposed for the highlights. F11, focusing about halfway into the scene, 13 seconds. That's a nice frame. I like it. Try landscape orientation. Good shot, I like it. Again, just going to change my white balance back to auto. Had it on um, shady for some reason. That's better. It's also a bit cooler temperature wise. It was almost a bit warm before. Let's try this one. 10 seconds, F11.
Well guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Only a short one, but what a absolutely magnificent scene. Just breathtaking. Um, easily one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. Just absolutely stunning. So, as I always say on all my videos, please do me a big favor. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of this video. Uh, let me know what your favorite photos are. It's always good to hear what you got to say. I'm a bit puffed, <laughs> just ran down this track. Um, yeah, what else? Um, if you enjoy my content, please also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. There's plenty more of these uh, vlog videos coming up in the future. And if you're a keen landscape photographer, which you probably are if you're watching this, uh, also go ahead and check out my website where you can have a look at uh, all of my landscape photography workshops. So guys, until next time, take care of yourselves and uh, we'll see you again real soon. Thanks as always for watching guys, that's the end of my series from Canada. If you'd like to see any more of my images from my adventures to this fall trip in Canada, keep an eye on my social media channels as well as my website. But that's a wrap on this series of videos, I hope you enjoyed it. Keep watching my channel soon, my next video will be from New Zealand coming up in the next couple of weeks.